you can write the if-then-else conditions for the direction and intensity of spin that will modulate the brightness on the green color channel of the LEDs. The faster the spin rate, the brighter the LEDs will be. Go to Lights and Sounds and add a main LED block into the if condition. Now go to Operators and drag the Color Mixer block into the main LED block. Set the color to green. You also need to drag the main LED sensor and embed it into the color mixer block. Next, drag the basic operator block and drop it in the channel of the color mixer block and change it to divide. Drag the gyroscope sensor into the left of the divide operator block and select yaw. Now you need to do a little math called normalization. To normalize means to represent a number on a different scale. For example, if you get 8 answers correct on a test with 10 questions, you got 80% correct. The math is shown as 8 divided by 10 equals 0 0.8, which equals 80%. For the spinning top, you need to normalize the gyroscope spin rate, which is from 0 to 2000 degrees per second, on the color channel scale which only goes from 0 to 255, so that every spin value can be expressed as a color. Using the same logic as the test score example, the normalization rate for the spinning top equals 2000 divided by 255 equals 7.84. So you need to enter 7.84 to the right of the divide operator, also known as the divisor. Now you can test this partial program. Start it and spin Sphero like a top counterclockwise. Notice how it turns brighter green the faster you spin it, with larger positive values for spin rate. In the next step, you will write the else condition for negative spin rates.